Wagwan, everybody. I am your Jamaican queen, Miss Y. You are tuned into How I See It TV, and this is Accurate Context. Now, y'all saw the thumbnail, so you know why we are gathered here today on my channel. We have to talk about Stormy Steel versus Melody, Cherie, and the Melometers. But before we get into this, please remember to like this video, share the link to my channel if you feel like my content needs some crowd, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so yet. Now, I wish that I could roast <laughs> like some of my favorite YouTubers um, here for hot tea. She's the best at it. Um, QT. I really wish that I could roast like them because if I could, then this video would be an epic one. But I can't roast. Okay, that's not my ministry. So I am going to read them literally in my corporate Jamaican voice as best as I can. My thoughts and my opinions and my feelings as it relates to Starmy taken to social media on um, I think it was Friday night or Saturday morning to literally come for Melody and the Melometers. She's talking about people playing victim, people calling her the ops. She's talking about being bullied and stalked. And honestly, that's all BS. And I'm going to break it down a little bit because Stormy, you tried it. You really did. Now, the way I'm going to do this video is I'm going to speak directly to Stormy. She might never ever see or hear this video, but... Stormy, get in here, because I'm speaking directly to you. So now, y'all, Melody hosted a Love & Marriage Huntsville girls trip. And I woke up Saturday morning hearing that Stormy done put a gold chess piece in her story and decided she was going to call out Melody Cherie and her fan base, the Melometers, who utilized the chess piece as their imagery of emoji of choice when they interact with or talk about Melody on social media because we know Melody's always saying we're playing chestnut checkers yada 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 so the millimeters and Melody use the chess piece a lot Melody used the chess piece in her story has Stormy ever used the chess piece before I don't know but she decided to put a gold chess piece in her stories and then went on a IG story rant about, you know, some demonic fan base. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Because Stormy is barking up the wrong tree. She is heading down the wrong road. Wrong road in my Portia Williams voice. She is betting on the wrong woe is me horse. And this is really not what she wants. Because in my opinion, the Melometers have shown Stormy a lot more grace than they've shown Destiny, Wanda, and the Scots combined. So Stormy wants to blame Melody because virtual strangers who support Melody and have YouTube channels do content where they share their thoughts and opinions on Stormy. And some of them, they pull public, let me say that again, public court records and they talk about some of the ish the Love and Marriage Huntsville cast has going on legally. And some of these con content creators, right, they're reading these public documents because some of the LAMH cast are not sharing their real life. And real life personal or business struggles on the show. They're on the show just lying and literally putting on a show. While Melody has given years on that show telling the truth. The truth about everything she's gone through in her then marriage to Martel. She's discussed starting over. Filing for bankruptcy and rebuilding businesses because if she didn't, Martel would have left her in debt because he filed for bankruptcy first. And her cast, 
mates have slid by for seasons riding the coattails of Melody. And honestly, they've been riding the coattail of Melody and Martel's storyline. See, Stormy wants to play victim because strangers who watch the show and like Melody more than they like her share their opinions of how they feel about how Stormy operates. So I'm going to add my opinion to Stormy, and now I'm talking to you. Stormy, you entered Melody's life, in my opinion, under false pretenses. And that was evident to me when we clocked that you had some level of relationship. Like a lot of people clocked it especially the people over there on Facebook, they clocked that you had some level of relationship with Ariane. And Melody said on the Ooh Ladies first panel when she did an interview with them that she didn't know this. See, Stormy, you claim you have receipts that you told Melody you knew the girl. But Ariane told us y'all would sit in the salon mocking how Mel talks because y'all been a fan of the show. So did you tell Melody that, allegedly, you would clown her along with Ariane? Did you tell her that part, if you indeed told her that you knew Kosla? And then your mom had been up and through the Love and Marriage Huntsville fan pages on Facebook talking mad disrespectful things about Melody, even before y'all met. And Mel also said, if she knew how your mom felt about her, Stormy, she wouldn't have allowed you in her space. And I believe Mel wholeheartedly that she would not have been around you had she known these things. Because we see how Miss Wanda goes at Melody. And Mel hasn't done a thing to Tisha to warrant Wanda's constant attack. And she hasn't done anything to you to warrant your mom's constant attacks as well, Stormy. Now, Stormy, after the Galentine event and after the episode of that Madani re 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 relaunch, when you were talking to Destiny in the store, you came across like an op. Like, let's be clear. When you were like, girl, I, I know what you're talking about, Destiny, but trust me, it's, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? And then Destiny said, mm, look at the marketing queen. And then Stormy, you go, dead ass. And then after the whole thing happened, you sat in your car with your mama on live, calling Melody Ghetto. And how they were turning the show in love and hip hop. And you were calling her ghetto because Wanda was checked for speaking on Melody's child. And Wanda decided that she was going to run up. So how are you now on social media acting like being called ghetto is so horrible when you also call yourself ghetto? And Mark, you stormy. It wasn't even the Melometers who started calling you ghetto. It was other Love and Marriage Huntsville content creators who didn't like that you were friends with Mel and felt like you came at Destiny at that Galentine event because Mel put a bug in your ear. Now, Stormy, don't forget how you were all over social media with Tisha and all the Scots. And Destiny, after your first season as a full-time cast member, ended. And it's fair to say Melody told you to get to know everybody on your own. But call me petty or childish. But if I know my friend is having real issues with some of these people, real issues, and I saw for myself, that they were attacking her all season long during filming. I'm not going to be too chummy with these people. I'm not going to be breaking bread with them. I'm not going to be dancing with them on social media in videos. Because that to me, it shows a lack of good character and honor in your friendship. When you can't exercise some semblance of loyalty. Then Stormy. 
You know that Melody was going through things with Martel because she disclosed things to you because she felt you were genuinely a friend. And so she opened up to you a little bit and we saw that on the show. And then you ended up out here spending New Year's with the man. That again shows you have no loyalty to Melody. Because a man who you don't really know like that, and if Melody was my friend, a man like Martel, who technically I don't know like that, could not be taking my friend to court to take her kids from her for no good reason. And I go partying with him on New Year's Eve. And I don't care if my man is a friend, is, is befriending Martel or building a friendship with Martel. I wouldn't care. Because I would have been on Melody's side in the context of I'm a mother and I'm not going to sit and watch this man take my friend to court for her children. Stormy, guess what? You were being opportunistic because you wanted proximity to Sheree Whitfield. Because once again, you bet on the wrong person. Sheree can't help you when she can't even get her businesses off the ground. But you don't understand why people call you the ops. You were being opportunistic, girl. You wanted that in with that Bravo crowd. So that's why you didn't care what Martel was doing to Melody when you were over there partying with him and Sheree. And then a thing happens on social media where fans started to speculate. After Melody tweeted something, fans started to speculate that she was talking about you. And before you privately ask Melody, girl, what, what, what the fuck? You could have slid into her DMs. You could have texted her. You had her number at that time. You could have been like, Mel, what the hell is happening? Why are the millimeters saying I recorded you in your home? But instead of doing that, you get online stormy blasting Melody. And then your mom starts dragging her up and down. And you co-signed. You co-signed the nasty things your mom was saying about her. And then you still expected Melody to reach out to you? Mel, after that happened, Mel posts the launch of a skincare product. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Stormy, you follow posting weird shady stuff. Melody posts about Sugar Mama's product. And you all of a sudden post about your son having a line coming out. And you haven't posted anything else about your son's line to date. Where is your son's line, Stormy? Where is it? Talking about real chemists know that it takes years, uh, months, even years. And this is right after Melody posted something about her chemist. That was weird behavior, Stormy. And the gag is, Melometers were the ones supporting you when you got on the show. Melometers weren't the ones dragging you on YouTube. So now you've lost the Melody supporters. And you come back, last season you come back. And the first thing you do is enter the season with the same storyline Destiny left on. The wah, 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 Mel didn't call me. Wah, 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 Mel, I haven't heard from you. Wah, 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 Mel isn't a good friend because I don't have her number. That's what you came with. And the funny thing is, and a lot of YouTubers have pointed it out, that you gave Destiny Grace for wanting to fight you. And for coming at you sideways at Kimmy's house. But you couldn't give Mel Grace for not calling you or giving you her number, even though you knew she was dealing with court stuff. Being on social media promoting her brand because she has to, because that's work, is not the same as calling people and checking in on people when you got shit going on. Like a man trying to drag you through the court system to get full custody of your children because 
he can no longer have you and because he wants control of you. That's what Melody was dealing with in real time when you didn't have her number and you couldn't even give her grace for that, Stormy. Mel sits with you and tells you where y'all stand at Kimmy's event. She said, we don't have an issue. And then again at the smoothie place when y'all had that one-on-one, she told you, Again, where y'all stand. She's like, we can be cordial. We can be cool. But as it relates to the things that I'm learning now about your mama, Betty Stormy, I don't want to go down this road again with somebody else and their mom coming at me. She She tells you this. And instead of taking that on the chin and taking it for what it is, Stormy, what do you do? You enter scenes. Where when Melody enters saying hello to you, you ignore her. Uh, Am I the only one that saw that last season? And Stormy, your mom is still speaking negatively about Melody and negatively about Melody's children on social media. So what if you think was going to happen based on your behavior, Stormy, and the behavior of your mama? You felt like the thousands of Melody supporters were not going to speak? And you feel like the the millimeters on YouTube who are doing content, we're not going to speak on what you and your mom are actually presenting to us? Now, who's playing victim, Stormy? And you sit and you say, I have a company company that made 40 million before I got on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And you keep saying that. And you keep saying, I didn't need this show to build my business. You don't think the fans of the show who know that the foundation of the show is Melody pitching an idea to Carlos are going to feel some type of way about you saying that? Why are you on the show? Then you don't need the show. So why are you on the show? And Stormy, I watch enough Shark Tank, right? You never share what your net profit was from that 40 million or from that 23 million you claim to have made. You never speak on how you reinvested that money into your business. And then as people start to look into your business acumen, they find all these alleged liens, all these people who are suing you because you used their services and allegedly didn't pay them. But you have a $40 million company, girl. What, what, what's your overhead? How much of that $40 million did you use to fulfill the target and the Walmart purchase order. Your car allegedly is being taken because you owe people and you have to run and hurry up and pay that debt to keep your car allegedly. I'm just saying, it's not, it's not adding up. Truth be told, last season the millimeters had your back when Tisha played when Tisha played in your face, plagiarizing your website policy down to your email address. And when they were coming at you about that hundred dollars, but you're playing victim and you want to make Melody and the Melometers the bad guys. Tisha and Marsa are the only ones on that show who have blasted you for owing people money. Melody hasn't said ish about your business. The jealousy and the envy is real when it comes to Melody. Y'all envy everything she does. And even though you're in your own lane where you're making money, Stormy, you still envy Melody's fan base. Because nobody's out here defending you as much as they defend Melody. But we don't have a reason to defend you like that. You don't have a narcissistic husband who's out here trying to drop revenge pee on you. So Stormy, let me find out. It's the Melody and the Melometers fault you did some bad businesses and lost money. And it's Melody and the Melometers fault that a family member did you dirty in business. It's the Melody and the Melometers fault that you didn't fulfill the orders. And of hundreds of people who made orders from your company and allegedly still haven't received their products. And some of them haven't gotten their money back, allegedly. The Stormy, is it the Melometers fault? Why there are several people on TikTok who are reviewing your body butters and body glaze 
And they're saying, well, the first batch I bought were great. But then when I reordered, it seems like a whole other product in, in comparison to the first one and not in a good way, allegedly. Is it Melody's fault all those companies are suing you to get their money back? Is it Melody's fault Tisha played in your face and then blasted you under reunion? Stormy, is it Melody and the Millimeters' fault why you couldn't even control Mama Betty at the reunion? You couldn't control her opinions on social media, but you want Melody to control the opinions of her fan base? As Melody said, you can pick up the phone and call your mama. She can't pick up the phone and call us. Stormy, you and Artisha can control your moms on social media. But Melody is supposed to reign in her fan base, a group of people who 98% are strangers to her. The 2% of the fan base, Melody might drop into their live chats and answer a few questions or give interviews to or the 2% that she's met before. She's not even talking about you when she does these interviews. And most of the lives that she's in the chat, they're not about you, Stormy, or any of her castmates. And let me say for myself, in conclusion, Melody doesn't know me. She's never talked to me. But let me tell the entire cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville this. I may support Melody, but she doesn't run ish on my channel. My thoughts and my opinions are my own. It's how I see things. It's how I see things play out on the show and on social media. And how I see things, it doesn't have to be how Melody sees things. But she can't tell me to fall back. Because at the end of the day, I'm creating content. It's entertainment. And y'all are all public figures. And as long as people are not telling blatant lies on you, Stormy, you may need to get off the show. Because people lie, but court documents don't lie. And if you can't handle being talked about... And if you can't take ownership of the ish you have going on and the ish that you've done, if you can't take ownership of the things that YouTubers are out here reporting on, then you might need to get off a reality TV, Stormy. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening to my rant. That's how I see it. Remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel. And as I always say, walk good. Bye.